FSU just landed what they hope to be the QB1 of the future in six foot tall, 185 pound Trammell Jones out of Mandarin High School in Jacksonville, Florida. He currently lists as a zero star on 247 Sports, but I think that's going to change. So let's hop into the film and see what he brings to the table. This is the first play on his huddle film, and I think it does a really good job of showcasing his abilities. He has good athleticism that he doesn't use to necessarily run downfield, but he uses it to deliver the ball to open receivers. You can see his speed and athleticism a little bit better in this clip here, where he quickly sees that he's not going to have receivers open downfield and he takes off. But you don't see a lot of those in this tape. More often than not, he uses athleticism to just buy more time. And that's a pretty advanced skill for a sophomore, speedy quarterback to have. In general, that just tells me that he's more mature than his age might suggest. And I think that as a quarterback mentally, he's developed his game pretty well. But I don't want to discount him as a passer either. Here they're running one of Mike Norvell's favorite plays, slot fade. So this slot receiver is going to run a fade to the outside, and this outside receiver is just going to run a hitch. Because Trammell Jones sees that the defense is in tight man coverage, he knows that he has a good one-on-one -on -one matchup on this fade to the outside. That's an easy pre-snap read that requires a good throw, and he makes one here. Here's another similar clip. He's got man coverage across the board, and it's another slot fade call. This run requires a little bit more air to be put under the ball, and I think he does a good job of delivering the ball where only his receiver can catch it. I also really like this throw. He's got a vertical route going up the sidelines, but he sees that he's capped pretty hard by this corner. So both him and the receiver are going to be on the same page as he delivers a back shoulder throw to this receiver. This is honestly probably one of the hardest throws to make in football, and it's impressive that he's able to make it here. He also shows several of these clips of him throwing the ball over the middle, which I kind of like that he includes. This is a harder throw than it might look. Most of them are just these RPOs where they've got a glance route going over the middle of the field, and he's going to read this weak side linebacker. Since he collapses on the run, it gives a pretty open receiver behind him for an easy completion, and it shows off Jones's quick release. If I had to knock him on one point, it'd probably be arm strength. This is the farthest throw we get, and it's probably about 60 yards in air, which isn't bad, but it makes me question whether or not he can rifle in the deep ball. But overall, I really like what you get out of Jones's tape. For a zero-star quarterback, he has a lot of things to work with. I think he kind of fits more in that Jordan Travis type mold, where Brock Glenn and Luke Cromanhawk are more statuesque type Brady White quarterbacks if you look at Mike Norvell's past. I think that's really interesting because Mike Norvell traditionally doesn't get Jordan Travis type quarterbacks, these six foot tall kind of quicker quarterbacks that can move around in space. So it seems like he's enjoyed his time working with Jordan Travis and sees that there's a potential to make a dynamic offense with that kind of quarterback. So I think Trammell Jones not only offers an interesting look into FSU's future, but kind of offers an interesting look into Mike Norvell's thought process as he's reevaluating what his offense might look like in the future. So thanks for watching this. I hope that it was informative and let me know what your take is on this Trammell Jones kid in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe both here and to the X's and O's YouTube channel where I spend most of my time. And thanks for watching.